As our design speed for IP4 has been set different to the design speed for our super lineman, we need to set the super elevation and widening manually. To do that, we will use the custom editor. We insert a new segment and select the curve at IP4. Notice that the numbering will automatically match the IP number. Over in the type, we have three options, speed, manual, and ignore. For this curve, we'll select speed. This allows us to simply enter our design speed for the curve, and all the super elevation and widening details will be taken from the speed tables. As you can see, we now have super elevation and widening for IP4. Using the edit part icon, we can easily switch between the parts editor and the custom editor. As you can see, IP4 now shows that it has a custom part attached to it. What we can actually do here is decide that we want to set a speed of 70 that and hit set. You'll notice that the radius changes and we also have some transitions. We go back to the custom editor, also update our design speed here to update the super elevation 